So today we're working on just kind of a review and of basic notes and rhythms for music reading. So what we have here on the screen is a music staff and we're just going to go through some of the individual notes to refresh people's memories and then cover some of the larger concepts. So the first note I want to stick here on the screen is a whole note. And a whole note gets four counts, and it lasts for an entire four beats in this time signature. If we divide that whole note in half, we get two half notes. Now each measure holds four beats. We know this because the time signature right here, the top number is a four. So if each measure holds four beats, and the whole note is four beats, when we divide it in half to get the half note, each half note is going to be two beats long. Then if you were divided in half again, you would get four quarter notes. Okay? Each time we divide it in half, so as we work our way down the rhythm tree, we're continuing to divide it in half. So what would be the name and the length of the next note down if we divide again by two? Take a second and think about what that note would be called and how long it would last. Okay? Hopefully you said eighth notes and doubly so that they are half of a beat long. Okay, So if we had four quarter notes in a measure, because each quarter note gets one beat, and there are four beats in a measure, once again, back over here, the top number of our time signature, then we'll have twice as many eighth notes in a measure, or eight eighth notes. So what we have right here are the basic rhythms for the class. So each one of these notes and rhythms lines up in this time signature. So let's listen to it real quick. It's going to be very basic. Two, three, four. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te. Okay, each one divides. So as we go from a whole note of four beats to half notes of two beats each to quarter notes of one beat to eighth notes of a half of a beat, it continues to divide in half. Now we also have rests that go along with these notes. So if this is once again a whole note, and we turn it into a rest, it will last the same number of beats. So what number of beats would that be? Think about it on your own for a second. That's right, four beats. Excellent. Let's switch to half notes. If we have two half notes, each being two beats long, and let's turn the second one into a rest. A half rest actually goes up from the third line. So our whole rest right here hangs down from the fourth line like a hole. If somebody were to walk along that line, they would fall down into the hole. The half rest, on the other hand, pushes up from the third line, and it is two beats. Now quarter notes, each being one beat. Let's turn this one right here into a rest. So that rest, that little squiggly lightning boat looking guy, that's a quarter rest and it lasts one beat. So that beat, which beat is that that's silent there? It's beat three. So we have notes on beat one and two but not notes on beat three so there will be silence and then beat four will end up having a sound again. And then eighth notes are half of a beat long and they look a little different. I like to think of them like a seven with a giant nose. Somebody beat it up, took a punch in the face, swelled up. And each eighth rest is a half of a beat. And each one of these eighth rests I just put in the measure comes on the first half of a beat where we'd say the number. Which means the second eighth note is on the up beat. So we have a down beat, the first half, and an up beat, the second half. So this is the downbeat, no sound here, and then this is the upbeat. So let's just listen to these two measures. You can hear the silence on the downbeats on beat two and beat what? Four. Very good. So those are the basic notes and rhythms that we're going to use, just so that you can get a chance to see Let's switch real quick to our notes and rhythms page. This section right here where the mouse is 
these this is kind of a cheat sheet a quarter note is one beat a half note is two beats a whole note is four beats these are important things to remember when we're thinking through how our rhythms work same thing for the rest every note has a rest that goes along with that eighth notes and eighth rests each are a half of a beat and look different okay now just look over here where the mouse is down beat is one the second half of the beat right here we have the plus sign now in our class we're gonna say te but some people also can say and and there's a couple of different systems for that but for the purposes of our class the word for an upbeat is te last thing to make sure we talk about are time signatures now we mentioned at the beginning that the top number of our time signature told us how many beats were in a measure okay? that's the top number right here and it lets us know that there are four beats in a measure one two three four each quarter note getting one beat or if you're a whole note one it's held out for four beats or if you half note it's held out for two beats one three held across as long as the time signature has the four on top there will be four beats in each measure. For instance, here's one beat, here's two beats, and then beats three and four are part of that half note because the half note lasts for two beats. If, on the other hand, back to our original, back to our original file, if we were to change the time signature, if I were to go and make it three beats instead of four, I would no longer be able to fit a whole note inside of it because a whole note is four beats long. It, the computer program, in fact, won't even let me put it in. Okay? But what I can do is fit three quarter notes. Or how many eighth notes. Or even a half note with a quarter note just so long as the total number of beats equals three now this is all true all of these things are true as long as the bottom number in our time signature is a four when we start changing the bottom number of the time signature it changes a lot of stuff that we're not going to worry about right now but it's this is the basics to hopefully make sure that we understand the lengths of notes the lengths of rest how many beats are in a measure, where we can find that information in our time signature, and the difference between a downbeat or an upbeat. And just to make sure we get that last point correct. Okay, is this where the, pur where the purple is, right in the center of your screen? Is that a downbeat or an upbeat? If I were to turn it into a rest, is it on the down or the up? What if I move the purple there? It's a little trickier. Is it on a down or an up? Okay. The easiest way to keep track of this is the beat is the down or the odd if you're thinking through eighth notes. So this is your first eighth note. It's a down beat. Your second one is an up beat. Your third eighth note would be a down beat again on beat two because each one of these eighth notes is a half of a beat. So we have half of a beat, half of a beat. That makes a whole beat. So that's beat one. Then we have beat two starting here, and it's this and this, because each eighth note is a half. Then we have beat three starting here. But the second half of beat three, the te, or the upbeat, has got a rest on it. So hopefully, just this quick review of notes and rhythms will give you something to be able to latch on to as we move forward.